Alright folks, welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. Uh, I'm not going to mess about this, this is the very, very last uh, episode. Uh, it's called Polarized. So let's jump right in. Previously on Life is Strange. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh! <gasps> Life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? And that's what happened last time. Or of course over the course of the game. So yes. Shit got crazy. So let's see how this goes. Does he like to take pictures of dead people or something like that? Or comatose people or something. By the looks of things. Wonder how we're gonna get back and get Chloe. If that's well, yeah, I suppose we could by looking at a picture. Somehow, I don't know. If she maybe took any pictures that recently. But life is certainly strange. Jeez. Okay, I think I'm supposed to be moving, yes. Chloe? What? Where? You know where you are. We were there last time. Uh, the dark room. Them skinny wrists, we can do it. These straps are hurt. Oh, 
Gute. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Think it was Nathan. Uh, Nathan, sorry. I think it's been this guy all along. Trolley. If I could move it towards me. Um. What the fuck is that? Okay. Victoria, wake up, wake up. Hold on, sorry about that. Oh shit, Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? Of course, and right in front of me. I can't see what that is. Of course, and right in front of me. What the hell? Syringe. God, I don't remember anything that happened. How can we move that? This Whoops. must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Great. I can see all my things, but I can't grab it. How the f fuck am I supposed to do this? Point somewhere. This is completely rewind. All right, it's from when we spoke to. to uh... <laughs> Try this again. No, it probably won't work. Kidnaps Victoria too. This is so bad. There was a left foot to touch there. Which I can't quite get to. Is this just a hand again? No, it's not. There we go. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Photo. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Focus on the photo. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Focus on the photo. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Yes. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! My shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. 
Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. Off our it's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. So creepy. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Uh. Uh. We're gonna like stick in his eyes. Or... For this no. will hurt much. Oh, Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always. Take the shot. Vile, it's oh shit. Yeah, okay. Jefferson. Same stuff. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh god. Where where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No, I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Yeah. 
Nobody's gonna Just die. Just hold on, Victoria. Nobody is gonna die. Anymore. Max, what's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous. But it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? I was wrong. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do what? What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. Then Kate Marsh was telling the truth. Even though I knew she wasn't lying. And I could have helped her, Max. But I hurt her. Now it's... It's my turn. We're both here. Okay? I just can't believe this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me. To us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. <clears throat> right. What's this? Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. What about this one? No. Oh, it's the same one. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I Whoa. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Wrong I'm button. definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Let's focus on it. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. <laughs> it's better when they don't know like pure, sweet cake. Artists don't drive teenagers to suicide for any bullshit muse. You trained Nathan to drug Kate, to take photos of her. That's why she's dead. Which makes me sad, Max. I will miss her. Kate had such a strong spirit, it was very satisfying to break it down. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. 
Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. That one. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Mm, yeah. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. Oh, I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. He looks like he's been anyway, taking some of his own uh, gear. Rachel drugs. was dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. What? After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Is purity personified? What the hell can I go back to? It's not an awful lot I actually do here. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Diary? You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. And then that's pretty much where we're at. 
Oh my god. I could go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good.